So what makes this a world record breaking boat? Well, first of all, it's the, the weight of this boat. This is the most advanced technology that you can use in constructing a boat. It's the same technology that one uses for Formula One racing cars, for high-tech planes. It's, it's pure carbon and no mates honeycomb. The boat weighs less than 100 kilos as you see it. I'll, sh I'll lift it to show you. Now this boat's going to take a certain amount of weight, which is my body mass, my provisions, my water makers, my navigation equipment and my spares. And we've worked out what that all weighs and we've designed the boat to that weight. So we get a, a, what we call a, work, a load water line, which is where the boat floats in the water. And in order for the boat to cut the water well, we've reduced the beam a bit. So the boat's quite long and quite narrow. So that will enable me to cut through the water with less strokes than a more traditional boat. This area here, the main cabin, um, has two uh, points to it. One, if the wind is blowing in this direction, it offers me protection from the bad weather, but it also is fairly streamlined, so the boat won't be blown backwards um, as fast as it would be if you were rowing a more traditional rowing boat that has the cabin at the back. The other reason for it is that if the wind's coming from this direction, it offers a bit of uh, free assistance, which isn't against any rules or anything, but uh, it just makes common sense that if there is wind around, you may as well take advantage of it somehow. But the boat is quite low because not often the wind will be um, where you want it to be and therefore you want to make the boat as small as possible. So we've got quite a low height to it. We know that the boat's thin, we know the boat's light, we know that the boat's long. So it's our view that this is about the most ultimate shape, weight and design that you can get for rowing across an ocean.